in this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Leica Q versus the Q2, comparing both cameras and seeing what's new about the Q2. Let's roll that intro. Hey guys, and welcome to Ben's Guide, where we bring you the best news, reviews, and how-tos from the world of photography and video. So if you're new here, consider subscribing for new videos every single week. Four years ago, the Leica Q was released, a 24 megapixel camera with a 28 millimeter f1.7 fixed lens. The camera is widely regarded by a lot of big names in the photography scene as the best compact camera on the market. Well, that was until the Q2 was announced. There has been some big upgrades on the Q2 compared to the Q. The first thing that we need to focus on is the resolution. This has been a huge upgrade by Leica, bringing the Q2 in with a whopping 47 megapixels. This is compared to the Q, which has 24 megapixels. So this is a huge and substantial jump from Leica. If we look at the video, the Leica Q2 has 4K, whereas the Q didn't have this. You can shoot a cinematic 24 frames per second at 4K and also 30 frames per second. You also have the option of 1080p at 120 frames per second. On the Q, you had the 120 frames per second, but you only had this at 720p. A great feature which has been added on the Q2 is image stabilization. This wasn't on the first model. This means that any time you're dipping below 1 60th of a second, you know that you're gonna be avoiding camera shake. Let's move on to the screens. The Leica Q2 has an OLED display. Now they've mirrored the design which was on the Q. So the display is pretty much identical, but there are a few important differences. The display is slightly bigger on the Q2 and also it's slightly sharper and brighter. The look of these cameras is almost identical. The difference is that the buttons have been moved around and they have been made more easy to access by the photographer. But Leica have still gone for the same ergonomic design that made this compact camera so popular in the first place. I was curious to see if the actual size would remain the same as the Q and the reason for this is because you have 4K on the Q2, you also have the extra resolution. And with these extra add-ons, usually comes a bit of extra size. But Leica have managed to fit the extra add-ons into the same size body. Everything remains the same size, which means that you've still got this nice small compact camera, which fits perfectly in your hand. Also, the speed has remained the same. This is impressive because of the extra processes that the Q2 has to deal with. With the 4K footage and the extra resolution, you would expect that there might be a bit of lag, but Leica have ensured us that this is gonna remain the same. This is probably because of the new processor that they've added into the Leica Q2. A great feature we yet to have mentioned in this video is the weather seal body. That's right, the Q2 comes with a weather seal body, which is gonna be perfect for photographers, which wanna be able to get outdoors and shoot in more testing weather conditions. So far, we've talked about the differences between the Q2 and the Q, but let's talk about some of the things that have remained the same. For instance, both are shooting still at 10 frames per second mechanical and 20 frames per second electronic. Also, the autofocus has remained the same. They have stuck with the contrast-based autofocus used on the Q. So here's the thing with Leica and a compact camera. 
The Q2 and the Q1 are both exceptional quality cameras. And the Q2 is more than a worthy upgrade from the Q. For most people watching this, Leica is just going to be too expensive. And to add to that, a compact camera is very bespoke and quite niche. It doesn't really offer you much flexibility, especially if you're a professional photographer. Add to that the price. Prepare yourselves. The price of this camera is a jaw-dropping $4,995. So most people watching this video are not going to be able to afford this camera. One surprising thing is though, if you actually shop around for Leica lenses and you do have a lot of money, you'll find that most of their lenses range from $4,000 all the way up to about $7,000. Now, if you think that you're getting a whole camera system here with a very impressive lens for $4,995, then strangely, it suddenly starts to seem quite reasonably priced. I wanna thank you guys for watching today's video here at Ben's Guide, where we brought you the comparison between the Leica Q and the Q2. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more news, reviews, and how-tos. And whatever you do for the rest of your day, make sure it's a good one.